morning guys it is um the afternoon and we have to leave for the vet in like 10 minutes but um before i took panda out i wanted to say good morning to you guys um i did my vest and took all my morning meds and yeah i am i am ready for this vet appointment because i'm ready to figure out what's wrong get it taken care of so my poor boy can um stop itching and feel better um <clears throat> but i wanted to try these on camera since I just ate and took enzymes. They are vegetarian gummies and <clears throat> I've never had vegetarian gummies before. They're also gluten free. Um, Cause that means that they don't have, you know, gelatin in them. So I wonder how they're gonna be. Um, let's see, let's try an orange one. Or a apple one, that works too. They're pretty good. And they're more like softer because they don't have the gelatin in them. But they definitely taste more like real fruit. Those are the flavors. Than the fake ones. So I am going to go um, take Panda out and get him to go potty before we leave so he doesn't poop at the vet. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm currently in the car with Panda. My dad's dropping off a package. I apologize for the dog butt. But the verdict of the vet was um, he has bad seasonal allergies, like grass. I think it's a grass allergy. So they put him on um, medication that he has to take twice a day um, for the next month at least and possibly his whole life. So it's like, I already take a ton of medication. Now my dog gets to take it. But... <clears throat> I'm gonna run out to Walmart later and get some pill pockets to make my life easier and um, but I'm just glad it wasn't anything more serious like I was kind of worried about mange or something but nope just seasonal allergies hey guys so um, I'm about to head for the horses soon but I wanted to give you guys a better update on panda besides the quick one I gave in the car so essentially <clears throat> um, it's either seasonal which they're leaning towards seasonal like grass or food allergies so um, he's gonna be on a immunosuppressant allergy medication called Apoquil um, twice a day for 14 days and then once a day and we're gonna start off with a month and see like how it you know how it goes from there if the symptoms come back after a month then he'll essentially have to be on it the rest of his life if they don't then he'll probably only have to take it in the summer months so it's just going to be a wait and see, but for the next month, it's like, I already have, I think, 11 medications I take. Now my dog takes one. <laughs> Medicine buddies. But, um, so he's on that. And I also went ahead and bought some grain-free um, turkey and potato food. It's a little bit more expensive than what we normally feed him, but I was just like, I'm going to attack this on all fronts. If it's seasonal um, or food-related, the pills will help, but... I also try the food because that's better than shelling out $50 for medication every month if the food can help. So, um, just trying different things, but the, more, the important thing is um, he's going to be okay and <coughs> the itching will stop and he will go back to being his happy self without itching his fur out. So, I looked it up and the Apoquil is actually supposed to start working within four hours and then within 24 hours it's supposed to stop itching completely. So, I cannot wait. I am super glad that we have a plan and um, that he will stop making his hair fall out because it was driving me crazy and as much as it was driving me crazy, it was probably driving him even more crazy. So glad that's all settled and um, I'll see you guys when I head to the barn. I am at the horses. I'm doing some pickup seat work with Blondie. Um, I just got here because we ran to McDonald's, but she was standing at the gate and I was like, don't want to get calls for her. Or body work and I was like I'll do body work by the way I found that she has these little black hairs in her mane it is adorable but she's picking up on it a lot faster than before all I have to do is just push on it a little bit and she picks it up now whereas before it was just like kind of her figuring out what to do so I love this horse Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. 
is I know I held it for a second, didn't I? That was weird. This is probably one of the most beautiful evenings we have had all summer. The dragonflies, sun's going down, horses are eating, I'm sitting kind of close to Bondi. Others are over there. It's like a cool breeze and um, and it's in the 70s. And it's a very simple yet pretty sky. Sometimes I just sit out here and I just wonder how in the world I got so lucky, but I mean that is just beautiful. Minus the poop. That's real life. <laughs> but it's amazing. Where are you going? Alright, well I'm gonna follow her. But it's a really nice night. You want to treat? You want to treat? Ready? Good man. Goodness. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. Um, as you saw, I just <coughs> gave Panda his first dose of the Adequin, so I think that's what it's called. So hopefully we will see some relief on the itching for this poor boy pretty soon. Um, and I think he liked his new food. He just gobbled it down like super fast so um guess i'll have panda help me finish the vlog today thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night <laughs>